What two things we gonna do every day? Don't you, don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. Okay, if I ask you what is messaging, what would you say that is? Brand, okay. A concise way of saying what you sell. Communication. None, none of that is wrong. It's all encompassing. So here's what I will get you to understand. Messaging is marketing. Write this down. You have to be able to communicate the thing they want and the things they don't want to do to get it. You have to spell out, and please don't miss this, you cannot force desire. You can only direct it. If you're watching this video, you're about to make a whole lot of money. We, we finished up our mindset. We are ready to get the messaging, offer creation. We gotta fix our mom to make millions, right? Yes, yes? yes. What two things are we gonna do every day? Don't you, don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. Okay, so I got to make good use of the time. Let's get into messaging. Let's get into messaging. You can put that first slide up. You can put that first slide up for me. We good? Y'all can go ahead and write this down if you're tracking with notes. That first part is done. Now, we, now we're just teaching and having a conversation. Feel free as I teach some of these things to, be, to stop me, raise your hand, whatever the case may be. And then I want to make time to personalize it too. All right, so when we get into offer creation, I'm going to teach you our offer creation process. We're going to pause, play some music, let you work through it in real time, and then you can ask questions. So my framework moving forward is teach, do, review, lunch. Teach it to you, let you do it, review it by Q&A, and then now you have it to lunch. Easy enough? All right, so when we get into messaging, a couple rules that I always teach that is foundational as it relates to messaging. Is it, if, how would anybody interpret messaging? If I asked you what is messaging, what would you say that is? Does anybody keep hearing that term, hey, I got to work on my messaging or get better at messaging? Yes, no? A little bit. So how would you interpret messaging? Just holler at me. Brand, okay. A concise way of saying what you sell, okay. I love it. Communication. All, none of those would be wrong, but it's all in... None, none of that is wrong. It's all encompassing. So here's what I will get you to understand. Messaging is marketing. Messaging is marketing. People think that these are separate functions. They are not. I'm going to prove my point in a matter of seconds with an example. Messaging is marketing. Say it with me. Messaging, Messaging. is marketing. Now, we normally say, okay, I need to do marketing or I need to work on my messaging and think they're separate. Let me show you what I mean, okay? So let's just say if you were in here and you were starving. I'm talking about hungry, hungry, hungry. Like me. I haven't, I haven't ate today, right? Starving like Marcus in here, okay? So if you were hungry, that means any restaurant, you're their ideal customer, correct? They created food for you. You're their ideal customer. So they have to market to you, correct? But the only way to market to you is through what? Messaging. So here we go. You're driving down the road and you see... You're hungry, and you're like, man, the next exit I see with some food, I'm getting off. Anybody ever been there? On the left side of the road, you see food, next exit. On the left side of the road, you see food, next exit. On the left side of the road, you see what? Food, next exit. Now, you keep driving, and before you get to the exit, you see soul food, seafood, even vegan options to the right. I'm going to say it again. Left side, you see food, next exit. Right side, you see soul food, seafood, even vegan options. What are you pulling off to go eat, my brother? Soul food, what you get? Seafood, what you getting, sis? Soul food, what you getting, family? Seafood, what you getting? Vegan, what you getting? Vegan. Now, I just proved to you that messaging is marketing for a market that has a desire for what you want. Because to the left side of the road, food next exit could have all of those things, but their messaging didn't tell you they did. So you got off the exit of what message marketed to your desire. Now, how does this relate to social media? When you tell people to click the link in your bio, that's the exit from social media to your website. You get it. So if you are wondering, why aren't they leaving? Why aren't they clicking? Why aren't they going to my page? Why aren't they booking a call? Why aren't they buying? Because you are in your messaging saying, food, next exit. You have to spell out, and please don't miss this, you cannot force desire. You can only direct it. 
It must spell out, and I'm going to show you how to do it very clearly, how do I get a specific success picture? What does life look like before, during, and after I work with you? I told y'all we and I teach it now. Everybody gets the power of messaging? All right, watch this. Let's give an example really quick. Let's watch this. Let's just say the person is in the fitness space. You ready? Y'all know it's about to be Thanksgiving time. This country. It's about to be Thanksgiving time, and you're going to start eating over Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you're trying to get your body in shape, sign up for my 30-day in shape for the winter program. You hear it? Messaging very vague. What does it sound like I'm going to have to do with that type of messaging? A lot of hard work. Didn't it sound like it indirectly? Sound like a whole lot of sweat, a whole lot of not eating at Thanksgiving. Now, I didn't say that. But in the tone, didn't it sound like I'm going to ask you to go to Thanksgiving and not eat food you want? You hear that messaging sound? Now, on this side where messaging is marketing, what if I said, I'm going to show you how to lose stubborn belly fat without giving up foods you love, going on fad diets, or spending hours in the gym? You're like, well, well, I'll do that. Scares me. (laughs) <laughs> now, excuse me, excuse me. Same program, different messaging. Which one would you sign up for? The one over here, right? Why? What did, what did I describe? Lose stubborn belly fat, thing you want, without giving up foods you love, things you don't want to do. Spend hours in the gym, things you don't want to do, or go on fad diet. So I listed what you want and all the things you wouldn't have to do. That's messaging. Write this down. You have to be able to communicate the thing they want and the things they don't want to do to get it. The thing they want, the things they don't want to do to get it. This is what it looks like. How to, thing they want. This makes sense? Without, thing they don't want. Now, if I can successfully tell you how to get the thing you want without the thing you don't want, I got good messaging. How to purchase your dream home without fear of being denied. How to find the love of your life without going on a million first dates. That's relationship. How to increase your revenue without having to work countless hours. How to transition from a nine to five to to becoming a full-time entrepreneur without losing any of your current income. I can keep, I can do this forever. Notice how messaging becomes marketing because it channels the desire of what you want, what you don't want, and it makes you ask me how to get it. I don't have to force the sale. Because messaging is marketing, and when marketing is done correctly, sales are unnecessary. Messaging is marketing, and when marketing is done correctly, selling is unnecessary. You ask me how to get it, I don't have to ask you to come and get it. 